It all started with Nathan. I've known him for about four years now. He knows me best. He can turn someone seriously injured into a joke that everyone laughs about for the next hour. Some people might see him as an arrogant whore, but that's okay. He's my bro, I'm his sis. That's the way we roll. He's the reason I never seem to shut up now. He's Nathy, I'm the wog. Then we got Jess. We play Pokemon, Mario obsessed the boot, the dynamic duo. When we are together, there's never a quiet moment. It's hard to tell who's more louder. Who else attempts to cook like us? She eats my alcoholic chocolates and I burn down her tea towels, like good friends should. Most people take one look at us and think, great, just another bunch of emos. Here come slit wrists and drug out kids. But that's not who we are. Emo is just some word. In the city, I've made a lot of friends. Every weekend I go seems to bring new people and the old. One big happy family. I treat everyone the same. I'd like to meet someone who has more energy than me. I'm that little kid who likes nothing better to do than chase bubbles and pop them and fall down laugh. Just because I'm mugged doesn't mean I have to have a mullet and go clubbing, although I do love mullets. They are oh so big and poofy. At least mine is anyway. Who wants to be watching a burnout when you can be wrestling on the grass over who drank the last drink? It's just how we are, happy and carefree. These are my friends. My space obsessed and completely up themselves, but I couldn't care less.